On the nav displays, heading is supplied by the ADARU. Air data is supplied from whatever source is being used by the associated PFD. The source of the display navigation information is shown here. The left ND displays left VOR data only, and the right ND right VOR data. The left ND normally displays left ILS information, but should that source fail, it will automatically use center and then right ILS data. The right ND follows the same logic, but in reverse order. In VOR mode, the course deviation indication remains unfilled at all times. In approach, the indication and glide slope pointer fill when deviation is slightly more than two dots. FMC position update status shows the system being used to update the FMC position. The update source changes automatically to use the best source available. These types of updating are available. Plan is similar to centered map with a few minor differences. Plan mode displays non-moving map information in a centered format, but always oriented to true north. Alternate airport symbols are displayed at all times. Up to four may be shown at once depending on the display range selected. They correspond to the airports listed on the FMC alternate page, which is covered in another lesson. Pushing the airport key on the EFAS control panel also displays alternate airports on the map display. Present position is shown at the nose of the airplane symbol. The airplane is oriented to current true track. The waypoint at the center of the display matches the location of center on the root legs page. Next we'll look at heading reference controls and indications. Heading reference indicates the current compass orientation as determined by the heading reference switch. The heading reference switch is located on the left forward panel. The switch is in its normal preflight position. In normal, switching between magnetic and true heading occurs automatically above 82 degrees latitude or in the vicinity of the magnetic poles. Above 70 degrees latitude, a grid heading readout is also displayed. Grid heading is calculated from true heading and longitude values. Now let's try manually selecting true heading. Push the heading reference switch. Notice that the displays did not change since the system was already in true. The true light illuminates only when the switch is in true. The white attention box remains in view as long as true heading is in use. We've left the polar area. Change the reference back to magnetic. When the reference returns to magnetic, a green attention box displays for 10 seconds. AFDS operations using true heading are covered in a separate lesson. The source of ND map data is normally from the FMC. Should the FMCs fail, the CDUs can provide an alternate but limited source of map data. The navigation source switches are used to manually display a CDU generated map. The navigation source switches are located on the instrument source select panels. In the off position, AIMS automatically selects the active FMC as the map source for both NDs. Push the left switch.
The CDU position may be used at any time to view the CDU stored map. Normally, the left CDU feeds the left ND and similarly for the right. Now let's look at some non-normal conditions. The nav ADARU inertial caution message indicates ADARU inertial navigation failure. GPS track and position data is automatically selected if not already being used. After an ADARU failure, LNAV and VNAV guidance are not available. However, heading hold and heading select may still be used to follow the FMC flight plan. Cancel the message. The advisory message FMC is displayed when both FMCs have failed. Chen D. Notice you do not have to push the navigation source switches. Normally, the left CDU generates the left ND map and the right CDU the right ND map fails. The navigation source switch allows CDU map viewing only. It cannot be used to transfer control of FMC functions to the CDU. With FMC failures, the FMC update status is removed. Cancel the message. Dual FMC failure also forces all navigation radio tuning to be done manually through the on-site CDU. ILS entry rules do not change. However, tuning disagreement displays are significantly different. If different frequencies and or courses are entered, the respective item on the PFD turns amber and is lined through to show the disagreement. the ND for the nearest suitable alternate. 